Hello, welcome back to another episode of Steve Actually Does Something. I'm gonna haul another load of junk from Mama's house. I had a bunch of stuff at my house, actually stuff I drug up from over here. <laughs> but I'm gonna get rid of it, take it to the dump. And uh, there's some stuff I wasn't able to get to last year over here at this big shed. So I'm gonna finish that off today. While I'm at it, I think I'll take y'all for a ride through town. I don't think I'll, I've showed anybody on here. A little town down the road from me. Uh, ain't much to it, man. It's grown up a whole lot in the past 60 years, I can tell you that. Used to be nothing but trees and trailer parks and a waffle house and a couple of gas stations. <laughs> oh, we had a car dealership too. But, uh, Hey man, if you if you're a Packer fan, you might get a little bit of a uh, little history out of it. It's uh, this area's got a connection to uh, a local connection to the Packers, both uh, recent history and uh, the Lombardi area too. So you might get a kick out of that. Try to make it as short as I can. We'll see. Uh, we on Jeff Davis Highway now. This is the part that used to be just like what you see here on the right. There's all woods and trees. Had a bunch of trailer parks. We got a new tractor supply right here on the left. Thought about getting a part-time job there just for the discount. <laughs> but uh, I see, I think uh, this motel's been here and John Tyler, they, they renamed it. But it's a community college. They started in the 70s. Other than that, there were number of trees and woods and trailer parks through here, as long as I can remember. They used to have, uh, right here to the right, used to have a, we had a movie theater one time. Two, uh, a two theater movie theater. Thought that was something, man. Didn't have to go into Petersburg for a movie no more. section shopping area I guess had a big trailer park right here to the right the only thing that was here way back was uh you used to have a waffle house over in the corner down there this is uh interstate 10 we coming up on about a um, half mile to the right there's uh 95 that's why it all built up around here but uh that Chevy dealer was there. There was a big hill here to the left of me. And um, there was something right here on this corner. I don't remember what it was. And that was it. it. Had something on all four corners except for this one had that big hill on it. And uh, it just slowly built out because of that going 95. Turn on Route 10, that'd take us straight all the way out to the dump right through town. Ain't much right through here if we get to town. Pretty much the same as it always was. So they both uh <laughs> a Chick-fil-A down here and uh, um uh they moved the post office, it used to be downtown. They put it over here and uh, they got a little off police substation here instead of being down at the corner courthouse put a little sub uh, put a substation there here recently I don't know maybe 20 years ago they added these little fancy uh, <laughs> light poles <laughs> it makes the town nice though when you drive through it at night and they're all lit up they'll hang a little thing on them for Christmas stuff like that it's kind of nice ready to come up to uh, some Packer, uh, um, not history, but uh, I don't know what you call it, association, how's that? <laughs> up here on the right, we got to make, um, uh, we got to go around, left around this bend up here, and then there'll be uh, 
a high school there, Thomasdale High School. That's uh, uh, anybody that's a Packer fan, or might not even be a Packer fan, but uh, you might remember he had a fullback named uh, William Henderson. He, uh, that's the school, high school he graduated from. I, I went to that high school too. It was a lot smaller back in. They've added on. I had to go in it because my kids were there four and I didn't uh I didn't even recognize it I mean everything's changed on the inside the outside too it's huge it used to be what they called a 3A school that was the biggest that came around here and then they I think now they're a 5A so I don't know how many kids they got in there probably four or five thousand I guess I don't know probably a thousand a grade I guess because they got the ninth grade down at uh, the next school down the road. It uh, used to be the middle school when I went there. But that's the ninth grade campus now. So we'll see. This first school here is elementary school. That's been there forever too. A long time. There it is. Home of the Knights. Thomas Dale right there on the right. That's where old William Henderson went to school at, high school. Then he got picked by, uh, well, he went to uh, UNC for college ball, and then the Packers picked him. And uh, another local uh, connection we have is, uh, I think it was one of the first coaching jobs uh, Lombardi had. I, had a, I got a book about him. I can't remember what the name of it is. But, uh, one of his first coaching jobs, I believe, was uh, Fordham University. He coached women's basketball team there, 1950s. But we had a um, head basketball coach up at the University of Richmond right down the road there, you know, 20 minutes or so. And uh, he was one of his assistant coaches. And he was one of the winningest coaches at the University of Richmond for years. I think he still is, according to his record. But this here's a ninth grade campus here for Thomas Dale used to be the middle school when I went there. So, we'll get past this next stoplight and we'll actually get into town. And that's pretty much the same. They've cleaned up a lot and <laughs> added a few things, but not a whole lot. It's amazing how much an area will grow in a few years. Don't blink or you might miss it. <laughs> if it weren't for the stoplights, we would uh you'd never know you went through town probably. All this stuff here to the right's all new. But everything else has pretty much been here a while. My first job was if you take a right at this light right here. Paid job with a paycheck. <laughs> Worked for a TV shop down that road. That's where we put up satellite dishes, repair TVs and stuff. I left there and went to a place up here on the left. It used to be called Turner's TV and Appliances. That's where I learned how to work on appliances and junk like that. Over there with a with a, there's a dollar store right there, Family Dollar. That's where the, the uh, building used to be at. So, other than that, that's it just went through town. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Come back and see us when you can. <laughs> so now it's about, I don't know, about two miles and we'll get down to the dump and I'll head on back to the house. Alright, them two, that big water tied at the level where the dump at. So I'm going to turn off of here and clear my, my bed and get back on the road and get back to the house. I'm going to take about 10 minutes here and 10 minutes back to the house. We'll talk to y'all later. I hope you enjoy your ride. You enjoyed your ride. <laughs>